So today, we are going to be reviewing Venom, one of the- Okay, first of all, we're not even going to acknowledge the fact that he ain't been uploading, bruh. Wait, who are you supposed to be? Nah, 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 the fans don't want to hear it, man. Come on now, you have 38 subscribers. Why do you think that is? Huh? Why do you think that is? Because you ain't consistent. Nobody wants to watch a piece of garbage that ain't consistent. God, who do you think you are, Corey Kenshin? Anyways, now, 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 before you review this movie, make sure you take this piece of crap, shove it up your butt, and remember to upload more consistently. Otherwise, we're going to unsubscribe. Yeah. Alright, you better, you better review this movie. But all levels of seriousness, guys, I have been neglecting you guys a lot. I have not been uploading consistently, mostly because I still do schooling, guys. I still do schooling, and I still have regular work, but I'm going to try and be more consistent. At least try to get at least one to two uploads per month, if not three at most. I'm going to try to be more consistent, try to give you guys more content. And just more of me, because you know, you guys love, you guys love looking at me, right? Please don't unsubscribe. <clears throat> but yes, as I said before, we're going to be reviewing Venom. One of my most uh, mixed feeling uh, Marvel movies. Um, I don't really love it. I don't really like it, but I don't hate it. And Venom has always been one of my favorite characters, hence why I'm wearing the shirt. And I figured it's very appropriate to review this movie considering one of my first reviews ever on this channel was two years ago when I reviewed Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. If you guys have not seen that review, I will leave a link for it down below in the comment section. Description. But anywho, let's go ahead and dive into this movie. But if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell icon for it to notify you whenever I have a new upload that is officially released. Now, let's dive into this. So Tom Hardy has always been a very um, interesting actor. He is actually relatively good. But as Eddie Brock in this movie, I don't think he really does a great job. I feel like he's pretty good um, for more of the comedic scenes, like his body humor and, you know, some of the noises he makes is kind of funny. Um, but as Eddie Brock, I would expect someone else. Um, and I wouldn't really expect this performance from him either. I honestly expected better. Like, I understand this movie isn't supposed to be, like, the greatest movie ever made. But as a Venom movie, I kind of wanted to hit more of the right beats, like, with Eddie Brock or certain characters. It also feels a little bit strange that it doesn't originate from Spider-Man, that Venom doesn't originate from Spider-Man, considering that's always been a dynamic to the character, that Venom is basically, he names himself Venom due to the fact that he's poisoned to Peter Parker and Spider-Man. So it just feels a bit weird that he would have those Spider-Man-like features and some of the abilities that he has without actually being, like, connected to Spider-Man in any way and not having him as that host to get those Spider-Man-like appearances on him. So I felt that was a bit strange. And the story is a bit lackluster, too. I mean, I understand it's supposed to be a starting point for this character and this whole spin-off universe Sony is trying to do, but it does feel like they could have done a better job. It could have very well been like, um, what would be a good one? Like Ant-Man. I mean, they could have had like a whole group of symbiotes in a facility and basically they try to destroy them all. Like that, it could have been like that, but we didn't get that. And we got some weird plot where another symbiote is with our main villain, which is the most unintimidating villain we've ever seen. Um, to try and get more symbiotes down to earth and it's just, it becomes a very convoluted mess of a plot. It doesn't know what it wants to be. Some moments it's serious, some moments it's really rad, and some moments it's just extremely goofy. And it's kind of all over the place. It wants to be like this horror slash action movie slash comedy, and it just doesn't 
mesh well together and the fact that it's not an R-rated Venom movie just does not really work. I mean like with this type of character you would expect the action scenes to be a little bit more violent which I'm not saying I agree with violence at all. I mean like I'm <laughs> I'm trying to defend the fact of why I wanted it to be R-rated. Um, but still, like, it, it just, they felt like they could have done more, more with it if it wasn't, like, PG-13. Um, but the action scenes, I can say, as a positive, are really good in this movie. Um, especially the scene where Venom's fighting the SWAT team. That's, like, the highlight. He picks up the one guy and just starts beating the crap out of all the other SWAT members with him. Like, that was good. But the final boss battle with the other symbiote, they're two dark symbiotes. And they're just fighting each other, and it just does not work. And it's just, this movie, like I said, just doesn't know what it wants to be. It's very confused, very lackluster. Um, a lot of the acting is kind of iffy, and a lot of the relationships aren't really believable, such as the love interest and Eddie Brock, Tom Hardy, and this other actress. Sorry that I forget her name. But anyways, they just do not have chemistry together, and it's very awkward to watch these two try to have chemistry, but it's not very good. Um, if I had to say you had to check out this one, uh, movie for one reason, I would say that would be Venom. I don't really think this is a great movie, guys. Like, all the best parts are with the character of Venom, and even those are a bit iffy. The story's just a mess, the acting could be seen as kind of garbage at times, and the motivations just do not make sense a lot of the times. Um, but hey, we got a comic accurate looking Venom, so I mean, that's, that's something. I don't know guys, this is the most mixed feelings I've had with a vet, or like with a Marvel movie. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Um, I would say it's worth a watch on your guys' zone. Um, it's a, on the line of a decent film and a bad film. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Um, I'm going to go take a nap. If you guys like the video, please subscribe today to join the idealization. Good lord.